Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's LTC Mincy here coming at you with another Capmore FS video review. And in this video, I want to go over what the recent updates um, were and also the uh, the returns for the, you know, so far for this whole month of, was this May? Yeah, May. So before I get to this video, I'd like to say that I'm not a financial advisor. I do not advise one to invest or spend the money. All I do is show opportunities that I believe that we benefit to anywhere around the world. And I also review over opportunities that I believe that will not be a benefit of internet to anyone around the world. So with that said, let's go and get to this video. So, Capmore FX is a, a broker that's uh, registered in the St. Vincent and Grenadines, an unregulated broker, but the broker is actually from India. Okay, so the, um, the trader, uh, um, Ajay uh, Arya, he was looking for a broker that will help his strategies become more available to everyone around the world instead of to his region in India. And uh, so he is a DOTS trader, public trader. Everyone can verify who he is. He has 23 trading centers across India. Uh, he does Zoom meetings and everything like that. Uh, of course, he's speaking in Hindi. He don't speak very good English. So, uh, you know, but the main thing is, is that you can actually get on the Zoom meetings and you're able to hear him explain his strategies and everything like that if you understand what he's saying. Um, but anyways you can see here this is the the new website and i went over this briefly in the last video and um we was having issues for those of us outside of india to access the website without using the vpn everything is good to go now so you do not need a vpn in order to access the website anymore you can just come right here you know, just, just like you um, used to before and you'll be good to go now there was people that did not have the 2fa and everything like that before and um they had to get um you know access to the accounts again i don't know why you wouldn't want to activate 2fa on your account 2fa helps protect your account so whenever there's opportunity for you to put 2fa on your account go ahead and do it it's protection all right um uh, but yeah you can see all the new uh features that got on the website uh now and uh it's just like i, I like the update it's a, it's a very sweet looking one uh, it's better than the, the last uh website that they had for sure um, you know, I, love, I like the darker thing with the red pretty much is I like it But anyways, you know, once you get um, Here if you haven't created an account you'll go ahead and start the process create your account Then you want to go ahead and get your KYC done You want to get your 2FA activated before you make any deposits. Okay now Going to my account my account right now. And this is where my balance is at I don't need to touch my account anymore because I've already withdrawn everything that I deposited and a whole lot more. All right. And uh, so I explained this before. You know, it was due to someone that joined underneath me with like $70,000, something like that. And I was able to really take advantage of, um, you know, those, those profits and for the IB, the IB commissions. And I was also giving him 50% of those IB commissions daily as well. So it helped him out. Um, so he ended up uh, deciding to withdraw the majority of his money out for his own uh, personal reasons. And he still got some accounts trading. So I'm still making some money off IB commissions here. And it's helping my account out uh, to grow faster than what it normally is by myself, of course. And so when you come down, you can see all of the transfers that were sent out. So there's no issues with withdrawing with this broker at all. There's no issues with deposits as long as you do it, do it the right way because when you make a deposit, you, uh, you're not only just depositing the USDT TRC20, but you got to take a screenshot of your transaction after it has been completed. So you take the screenshot after the transfer has been completed, then you, uh, you also attach that in with the transfer process with the broker, and then they'll go ahead and accept your funds and they put credit it to your account. So make sure you take that screenshot as well. Okay, and I think you got to provide the transaction ID um, if I remember correctly. I only did one deposit or two deposits. Can't remember. It's been a long time. But anyways, you come down here. You can see the history of me getting started. I got started on March the 21st. So I've been in this for over two months and been very, very pleased with the results. Um, you know, uh, uh, Ajay is a man of his word and he really does make sure that he monitors risk management first. Because protection of our funds is always the most important thing when we get into these trading opportunities. Now, this right here is a copy trading pound. So you got way more control over your funds over here with this uh, with this account than what you do with a regular PAM account. So, you know, when I say you got way more control, you know, you're able to um, really 
control your accounts like okay my account goes into this much of a drawdown close that close up my, my uh, the, the, uh, the trade and I take the loss if it gets um, you know this much in profit you can go in there and see the trades over you can change your stop loss and take profit you can close out the trades you got way more control over your account with the copy trading PAM account compared to a regular PAM account uh, you know with a regular PAM account you get the complete mercy of the trader or that trading bot all right but anyways, you can see right here, this right here was my first withdrawal that I did for myself. All the other ones that you see here was me transferring internally to the other uh, guy that was um, that had the big accounts underneath me. And uh, I was doing that like every day, just about, except for, you know, of course, the weekends because sports only is, um, you know, 24 or 5. All right. And then you can see my last withdrawal, which was on April the 29th. And that was for over $1,700. So, like I said, I started out. It was like over seven hundred dollars. I uh, my first withdrawal was my initial deposit and some profits, and then the second withdrawal was just pure profits that I withdrew. So that's the reason why I don't need to touch my account anymore. All right, now let's get to the results. Okay, what's been going on with results so far this month? This right here is the the section provider, which is the main account, and you can see what we was able to do in the first week right here of May. So 1.92%, 0.32%, 0.33, 0.77, 0.69. And then you get to the second week right here. So we have 0.79, negative 0.93. And then uh, he made up um, the very next day with a positive gain, 0.75%. Because, you know, his rule is if he uh, has a losing day, he has 24 trading hours to make up for, uh, you know, that loss by getting a positive gain. And if he does not get a positive gain, then he uh, refunds us that loss. Okay. And it's a 50 50 percent, uh, 50 50 profit split that's paid out daily. Okay. At the end of, um, you know, each completed trading day, uh, except for if we have a losing day, of course. Okay. And then we got 0.01 percent. And then we got 0.77 percent. And then the third week, 0 0.62 percent, 0 0.55, 0 0.72, 0 0.62, and 0.24. That right there is the section provider. And then we got the UK provider, which is the one that you can start with as low as $100. And uh, so, so you can test it out and see how the, their trade strategy goes. So this right here was 2.28, 0.62, 0.92, 0.88, 0.91, and then you see here in the second week, 1.01, uh, 1.05. So the day that we end up losing on the section, of like 0.93%, they end up gaining on that same day. Uh, so you can tell that, you know, it's like this one right here, it can be more aggressive uh, compared to the satchel provider. He's gonna be a whole lot more cautious with that capital over there because we got like 30,000 accounts over there and he has millions of dollars over in that account. So he's not gonna take the extra risk to try to get a positive gain. He's just gonna get in and out with the, the, the other provider account. That's the main one. And then continue on, you got 0.55%, 0.63%, 0.87%. And then the third week, 0.53%, 0.6%, 1.2%, 0.66%, 0.23%. 0.2, now, let's go through for the rest of, uh, I think, the rest of this week right here. So you can see what the results were for the 22nd through the 26th. So um, let's go through, let's see, 20 second. There we go. So you can see right here, we had a, a live trading set um, trading session with the uh, the trader uh, himself, uh, Jay, uh, right here. And, you know, so I say it was all in, uh, handy, but I tuned into it for as long as I could. Um, you know, I couldn't understand a whole lot of things he was saying. And, but the main thing is I was able to listen to him talk and see how he is with answering questions because a lot of people uh, in the um, the this session had a lot of questions so but anyways and you know we, we share that as well and you can see this right here's a screenshot of him with this trading setup right here as well and uh, so you come down uh, let's go over to see if I can find the other results here because I've been sharing them so here we go uh, we got 0.63% for Team UK and 0.71% for Saxon and then uh, Team UK um, had I mean I think both of them had did good on the 24th uh, I just didn't get the the return result for um, Saxon on the 24th, but I think both of them had did um, over well over one percent that day together as well. And then on the 25th, uh, Team UK did 1.1 percent, uh, and then Saxon did 1.12 percent. And then to finish up the week, 
Team UK did 0.75% and Sectrum did 1.66%. So for the week, like someone right here mentioned, well, we got over 5% and Team UK for the week. Now what um, uh, Sectrum did, I think they also did over 5%. I could be wrong, but anyways, though, both of these strategies are doing very well. Um, you know, it's to get with the Satchum provider, you need to have a minimum deposit of 500 uh, USDT. And um, then, you know, of course, Team UK, you start with a minimum of 100 USDT. And then once you get up to a certain point, it's like you feel comfortable, hey, you can upgrade anytime that you want to because you got way more control of your account here with the Capmore FX uh, and these teams uh, because this is a copy trading broker. Um, and, you know, so absolutely happy with what's going on with, uh, with uh, this broker and this uh, this strategy that I'm following I uh, couldn't you know it's just like it's the best one out there uh, right now so so far to this point is the best one out there yes it's a 50 50 profit split and everything like that but you know which one you prefer would you rather rather prefer to get fast gains just to lose it all in two months or would you like to get slower profits and it's gonna be consistent uh, profits over a long period of time because this trader has like the last decade of uh, trader's experience and he knows exactly what he's doing. He's got people that's trading on their own and they're doing very well for themselves today as well. So now, you know, that's all I have to say. If you like what you heard and saw, please like subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in joining this opportunity, just know that people in the United States cannot join this broker. But uh, pretty much everyone else around the world is able to do so. I have my links down in the description of the video and in the comment section if you're interested in joining. Um, if you heard of this opportunity for someone else, please get back with that person. Use their referral link, create your account, get verified and 2FA activated, and start generating passive income and show us how to do the same thing. So that's all the safe for right now. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time in this video. Take care, everyone.